Yeah. All right, questions? Uh, Louisiana Tech, uh, is this similar to the, what y'all have seen? You know, the same quarterback and everything. Not much yeah, different. no, they're really not much different. They got about everybody back. You know, most of their lines are back. Uh, uh, all their wide receivers and the quarterback. You know, the running back's gone, but besides that, which kind of the you know, same offense coordinator. And of course, Skip's still the head coach, and they got the same guys, so it's it's pretty much what they've done. You know, they've got a good they got a good system over there, and they've been very successful. And, and uh, obviously, another big challenge. Looking back to last year's game, what do you think y'all need to do better against them this time around? Not, uh, not wait to the last two minutes and give me, give me a heart attack. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, <clears throat> obviously it's like anything. Uh, early we could, we did we had an issue stopping the run, and so you know everything starts there. You know, we got to stop the run, and, and we gave us some big plays. Of course, that's you know that's who they are. You know, when you got a good quarterback and Good receivers and you know, old linebacker. I mean, you know, it's the game plan doesn't change. We got to try to try to stop the run and, and obviously be better on the pass than we were last week. You talk about the play your uh, front seven versus UAB. It's a uh, pretty physical front. Y'all went against. Yeah, you know, we 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 uh, I got to give her our front really played hard and our linebackers did a great job of fitting the run. You know, uh, uh, we did a good job stopping the run most of the day, which was a positive. Uh, Got to give them credit, you know, they made some plays in the back end and the same deal. So our kids are there, just, you know, they they made the play a couple times we didn't. But, uh, you know, we had our opportunities and defensively we didn't, we, we didn't play well enough to win the football game. So, you know, we had to hold them under 20 and we didn't do it. That's, that's the goal. And, uh, you know, we, like I said, we had our chances and we played well at times, but you know, gave a couple big plays. And that's what happened. This is the second straight game you guys have had uh, with multiple turnovers. Um, do you guys think that this is the new norm for you guys now? I mean, I sure hope so. You know, we we talk about it, preach it, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know it gives you an opportunity. You know, it gives you an opportunity to win. You know, it helped us win the Marshall game and gave us an opportunity to win last week. And, that's that's our goals, and uh, obviously we, we stress it, we talk about it, we work on it, and and it's finally pay, paying some dividends. And obviously we're going to have some this week too if we got a chance to be, you know, win the football game. How frustrating was it for you in the overtime? For the, I think that was their longest run of the night. Uh, from the after you yeah, you know, especially after watching it, you know, it's it's uh, uh, it, you know. It's just one of those deals. That actually, they blocked it wrong, uh, offensively, and and so they blocked it wrong. We played it wrong, and, and then there was a hole in there, and he hit it, and that was the game. And it was, you know, it was not frustrating to me. It was frustrating to me because our kids have played so hard, and you just hate for it to end that way. Obviously, no matter how it ended with loss, you would hate it. You hate it to end that way especially how hard our kids played. So, you know, both sides of the ball, I mean, somebody was going to be disappointed at last Saturday night. It was, a, it, was a great, it was a great football game to watch and be a part of. And both, both sides played extremely hard. They played extremely hard. And, uh, you know, as, as, a, as a team, offensively and defensively, we played really hard. And you know, it's like every Saturday, you know, somebody loses. It's, 50% of the teams lose every, every week. And I used to say, well, with you win or tie, I don't even let you tie anymore. So, yeah, so that's, you know, that's kind of, the luck has really not rolled our way this year. You know, we had a lot, of, we've had some get, some uh, bounces go away the last couple of years. This year, you know, everybody used to, have to talk about it or whatever. You know, we're a few points here, a missed field goal, or dropped interception from being 72, but we're not, you know, so. It is what it is. So, I mean, you know, this, I'm not giving any excuse. We, did, we haven't done what we needed to do. You know, defensively at times we've had opportunities to win football games. And, and uh, we've been close, and our kids have really played hard, and they played good. But, you know, we got we got to close some things out, and that's what we got, that's what we got to do to get better. Coach, back-to-back weeks, Ty Williams has had some momentum-changing interceptions. Uh, 
What does he bring to this team? Energy. He does. I mean, the way he, it, the way he has uh, made those plays is who he is on the field, at practice, off the field. He, he's, he's got a motor. He's one of those true DBs that it doesn't, doesn't stop talking. It doesn't stop doing anything. You know, he's hyper. And, but he brings a lot of really good energy to our football team, he, a lot of confidence. And, you know, we're, we're excited about having him. He's a, he's a real good football player, you know. As I said, early in the year, we didn't have any experience back there. But as you see, the year has gone. We've gotten a lot better back there, you know. Uh, you know, Kyle Hemby's starting to make plays. And Picasso's playing better. And, and Ray made some good – Mitch made some good plays. And so, uh, Xavier Marion made good. Yeah. And so, I mean, they're starting – you know, they've had some experience now. We're starting to play better. And so, you know, sometimes when I say this, kiss of death, they'll probably throw eight touchdown passes on us this week. But the kids are, you know, they've got some experience now, and, and they, we are playing better back in the back end, which has helped. How different is it without Ladarius Harris up there? Well, you know, I, uh, you know, he's one of our really good football players. You got, you know, you got two guys that were starting, starting at first of the year, Delmont Landry and. Darius Harris Nucci, you know, and uh, if you had told me that we could we could control the line of scrimmage and 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 play UAB, you know, stop them their ground game like we did with those two guys in there, I, you know, without them, those two, I would have questioned you. But you know, we've got some young guys that have come through. You know, when Darius Freeman's played, about, he's averaged about two two snaps a game, and he played about fifty. He did a great job. Ty, Ty Sykes came in and played. You know, he played. Did a great job. Of course, Jock Turner. You know, he's he. You know, he he's played well, and and Demario Smith. They have both played well. You knew they were, but you had these other guys come in, and, and uh, they they've uh, they've done a great job for us. You guys, I think, you know, it's a short list of seniors starting on the offensive side of the ball. You actually got some over there on defense. You're going to miss, and you must be in senior week. Yeah, we are. You know, the good news is, uh, <coughs> you know, in the front, you know, right now we you got uh, we got Nucci, uh, and uh, really if Delmont doesn't play, you know, he, we might redshirt him. So really, we're leave, losing one guy on the front line. Guys, you're gonna miss obviously the linebackers. You're gonna miss Sangster and, and definitely Ruff, and then Picasso and and, and Xavier Marion. But you know, that's just. And we also, uh, uh, Walden Davis has got some lots of good reps. But when you start talking about it, there's some guys we're going to miss, but you're not naming too many of them. Right. So uh, we feel like we got some young kids, and we feel like we got a chance to keep improving on what we're doing. You know, one positive, I feel like we've gotten better every year on defense. And if we can keep doing that, then, you know, we, we got a chance positive because we got most of our secondary back. We got some young secondary guys. And so, I know as a as a secondary coach, it's going to make life a little bit easier on me this spring and summer compared to this last year when starting with five new faces. So uh, we'll see. Works. You know, we hate to lose those guys. You know, they've done a great job for us, and and uh, what they've done is help build this defense. You know, and we're starting to get. I feel like the tradition of the nasty bunch back with the last few years. You know, we came in here and. Coach Pecoraro came in here and kind of turned this thing around, and we've gotten <coughs> knock on wood, gotten better every year, and just that's that's the goal, and hopefully we'll keep doing that. Anything else, Coach? Thank you. Uh, thanks, thanks, Coach. <coughs>